Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie. If you're new to my channel and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. to my channel my name is Ali I upload three videos a week beauty Bible and lifestyle so if any of those interest you please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video so for today's video I have for you guys my June and July favorites since I was kind of out of commission most of June or like towards the end of June and the beginning of July since I was out of commission we're gonna just talk about and combine both months Okay, so let's just go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and start with base products. One thing I happen to fall back in love with is the the Wet n Wild Photo Focus 3 in 1 Primer uh, Primer Water. Yeah, Prep, Set, and Refresh. So it's a 3 in 1 Primer Water. This one's in the 1 Cucumber. So I usually use this one as a primer water because I feel like it doesn't um, do a good job of making your makeup last or just really setting it down. Like it'll make it look like not powdery, but it doesn't do the best job at making your makeup actually last. So I did fall back in love with this just as a primer water. And besides this mist is a little bit aggressive. Now that I have like other mist, I'm starting to use like older products and I'm like, why are these misters so dang aggressive? <laughs> So speaking of aggressive mist, one that I really do like is this Hydra Matte Fixing Spray from Re um, Revolution Pro. And I believe that this is just like a spinoff brand from Makeup Revolution. And I actually like this. This is their Hydrating Hydra Matte Fixing Spray with Hyaluronic Acid and Vitamin E. Now here's what I like about this is that if you're oily, don't expect this to keep you matte. But it does prolong your makeup by keeping your oils controlled so you don't get as oily. But I have noticed that even me, who, as someone who leans more dry, eventually my natural oils peek through. So maybe you could try it with a more matte foundation. I haven't tried this with the matte foundation just because it's called Hydra Matte. So, but this is really good and I like that it doesn't make your skin like super matte because it does have the hyaluronic acid and vitamin E. Okay, so now, so now continuing on with the base products, let's go ahead and talk about this Mary Kay CC cream. So I've really been loving the CC cream, especially for summer because it was something that it has your SPF in it and if you already use an SPF, moisturizer or anything like that then you're just adding spf but i'm somebody who doesn't like to add on to spf because i'm i'm not a i'm not the biggest fan of the scents of spf so on days that i didn't want to i don't know do the additional step of adding spf to my skincare i really liked adding this going in with this cc cream now i have mine in the shade medium to deep the cool thing about this cc cream is that it does have technology in it that will adjust it to your closest natural skin tone so you can blend it and it'll all just blend in perfectly because when i first apply this it does look like it's a little bit too dark for me but then by the time i'm done doing my makeup it does kind of adjust itself and so one thing i do recommend about this if you want the light coverage and you don't Okay, so now if you're someone who you don't have a lot to cover up, like for me, I have blemishes, I have acne scars, I have freckles, I have a dark spot, so I have a lot that I want to cover up. So the best way for me to apply this is with the brush, and I like the finish with the brush. It's very rare that I like the finish of a foundation or any kind of complexion product with the brush, but this I actually do like with the blush, and like I was with a brush. So like I was saying, if you're somebody who doesn't have much to cover up, but you do want something to just kind of make you look flawless, and you, you can use this with a sponge, because a sponge is going to share this out to the max. But a brush does add a little bit of like light to medium, like light to light medium coverage. I wouldn't even say it gets you to medium coverage, but light to light medium coverage. Now, one foundation that I've fallen in love with, and I have not tried this out since I started my channel back in 2017, you guys. So this is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. Oh my gosh. So when I first started my channel, you guys, I didn't have a good skincare routine. I did not take care of my skin properly. 
So I was somebody who didn't have a good skincare routine. I did not take care of my skin properly. And this is like whenever my skin was at its driest point. And I liked this foundation, but I didn't love this foundation. Now that my skin is in better shape than it used to be, and I retried out this and I retried this foundation thanks to my girl Raquel. Check her out. But since I was able to retry this i found out that i love it the coverage is amazing and i was like i don't remember this like not looking cakey on me but now that my skin is better this is a great foundation so i had to reiterate to you guys like if, if you find that foundation to just are not looking good on your skin adjust your skincare make sure you're taking care of your skin like your skin is the foundation to your foundation if that makes sense so now let's talk concealers so there was a couple concealers that I was loving for every day. So whenever I was using the Milani foundation, one concealer that I really, cause obviously if I'm using Milani, it's full coverage and I'm going for super full coverage. This Juvia's Place concealer is bomb, like bomb.com. Like there's no other way for me to even say it. Like this is bomb and so i really really enjoyed this and it's actually creamy and but it does dry like i don't know it's just weird like you have to try it out like i feel like this isn't talked about enough if that makes sense this concealer right here so yeah and for my lighter days the coverage that the coverage the concealer that i was really liking in the past couple of months was my ulta oh my gosh was my ulta beauty youthful glow concealer oh i'm not even telling all the shades that i have anything in so my milani foundation i have the shade 04 medium beige in my juvia's place concealer i have the shade 18 and then in the ulta beauty concealer i have the shade light neutral now this one is perfect you can build this up and get like medium coverage from it but this will never be your full coverage concealer but it is going to make you look just like natural and healthy and glowy underneath your eyes and it doesn't emphasize your i'm spitting everywhere and it does not emphasize the creases under your eye so if you're somebody who just likes a lighter glowy glowier look like this is the combo for you and if you're one of my full coverage gals and you just like the glam this is the best combination i would recommend for you so my light coverage girls and my full coverage girls these are the combos that i would recommend now with either one of those the primer that i was loving because i got in last month's ipsy was this pores no more luminizer primer not only does this hydrate but it really does add a glow and it does blur pores as well so i really do recommend this pores no more luminizer primer and like i said it went great with both foundation and concealer combos that i had tried so let's go ahead and talk eyeshadows so an eyeshadow palette that i was really loving and i actually did make it a point to pull this out more is my belonging eyeshadow palette from you can be and you can find this on amazon for 10 bucks this is a dupe for the for the born to run palette but i really really like this palette now granted the colors do come off a little a little bit different than when they look in the pan but not dramatically different but the pigmentation in these is, is good the buildability is good the what is the other word i'm looking for pigmentation blendability is really good on this so if you don't want to spend the big buckaroos on the born to run palette I would definitely recommend this one. And again, this is the Belonging palette from You Can Be. And I found mine on Amazon. And this is a cruelty-free brand. So, yeah. Another eyeshadow that I fell in love with, again, because of Ipsy, is this Il Maquillage Color Boss Single Eyeshadow. And I have mine and Eyes on the Prize. You guys, this formula is so good and so long-lasting. It's like... It's weird because when you feel it, it feels a little creamy. And when you swatch it, it feels a little creamy, but it blends like a powder. Like it's the strangest thing. And it's so metallic and shimmery and pretty. I love this whenever I just want to throw a bronzer in the crease and I just want one shadow. I'll take this on my finger and just swipe it on and let's go. So one thing, and again, because of Raquel, we did that video together where we tried out each other's favorite products. And honestly, you guys, this Maybelline 
again you guys like this actually shocked me so this is the maybelline tattoo studio brow pomade and i just have mine in the shade deep brown and it works perfect for me this brow cream like like i don't know this like i don't even know what to say about it because this is that good not it lasts long it don't smudge it don't wear off it'll last you through a workout a nasty sweaty workout king and like it's so easy to work with because it's creamy but it's not too creamy so you can get the nice hair like brush strokes but yeah like i i, I don't know this is just so good like I, if you haven't tried this maybelline tattoo studio brow pomade try it so the last thing i fell back i started loving again is my elf wow brow um setting gel i love this because sometimes i like to do my brows first and sometimes from all the blending and application of everything my brows can either look powdery or they can start to skip like i'll scrape some product off and i'll just go in with this and it just fills in anything that got messed up and it also makes your brows just look fuller it holds them in place it adds a little bit of color and this does have like little fibers in it that 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 it, which is the reason why it can make your brows look fuller. I also love this for a day where I'm using my lighter coverage uh, makeup. And now that I have some growth to my brows, I can just go in with this by itself, no pencil, no anything, and just place my brows where I want them. And this will add that thickness and that fullness while still looking super duper natural. So one blush that I, oh, I wish I would have remembered that I had this out today because I was looking for a blush like this. But a blush that I really have loving is this Revlon Naughty Nude Blush. And this is just a Revlon Powder Blush. You guys, this is so pretty. If you're somebody who likes like these nude, mauve warm uh, powder blushes, you'll actually like this. And it also adds like a really pretty, healthy glow to your skin. I love this blush. It's long lasting and not, I don't, hear a lot of people talk about this but it's pretty good and for bronzer <laughs> like a lot of my favorites are because of the video that Raquel and I did together back in May so if you haven't checked that out I'll link it up above and down below but she recommended that I use the the physician formula butter bronzer and you guys I'm almost out of this but this bronzer Anyways, you guys, this bronzer is like the perfect bronzer because not only can you contour with it, but you can bronze with it. And for whatever reason, it adds like this, it adds like this filter over your skin that's just like, mm, mm. Just makes your skin look nice and smooth and pretty and glowy and bronzy and like you just got back from a vacation. I love this bronzer now. Not to mention the smell is good, but it's not like what people make it out to be. Let's just go ahead and talk about these mascaras for a second. So I have really loved the Tarte mascaras that I've gotten in my last two Ipsy boxes. So that is the Tarte Surfer Curl Mascara, which is really good. I love this for my lower lashes. I love how it just, I love how this, the wand just like grips onto your lashes with like every single stroke and like it lengthens and it does curl. I have noticed that my lashes will hold a pretty good curl with this all day long. And then the next one is the Lars, the Tarte Tartist Lash Paint. Now I love this one for the same exact reasons. Not that it holds a curl, but just the way it makes my lashes look. I like this one, like, I don't know, these two together is a good combo, but obviously you don't wanna spend money on both of these. The only reason I have both of these is because of a subscription box. So yeah, but I love this Tartist mascara for the same exact reason and I, this one won't add volume but it will act, add length so if you're more of a volume person you should go for the Tarte Surf, Surfer Curl and if you're more of a lengthening person I would go for the Tarte Lash Paint because it's just going to make your eyelashes look long and just coat them and make the individual hairs look thicker but it won't actually make your eyelashes look fuller if that makes sense okay you guys now you guys already know no. for gloss when you want them glossy glossy lips so when you want them extra glossy lips the only thing i can recommend and that i will recommend are these essence shine 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 lip glosses now the clear one is by far my favorite because i find out that i find with the clear one no matter what i put it over 
it's going to give you that perfect glossy non-sticky great smelling good shine to heaven type of gloss but i have noticed the let it go color i put it on top of um a liquid lipstick and it got kind of like nasty so i don't know how maybe i just put too much liquid lipstick on whenever i applied that one i'll let you guys know but for sure the regular clear one this is three dollars this is the one called behind the scenes is the shade name but it's just their clear gloss and that is their shine 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 wet look lip gloss in the shade behind the scenes now for the next thing i'm going to talk about is not so much just one single one but just a line of or just a brand but i have been loving the la girl eyeliners i find that they really last in the waterline they it's not like mm, i don't know how to explain it they last in the waterline they go on super easy they're super pigmented and i actually have the yellow one on today that you can see so yeah these aren't that expensive i believe they're like four or five bucks so if you've been wanting and i believe like the normal ones that come in this kind of packaging are a little bit cheaper like three or two to three bucks so the neon ones are the ones that are a little bit more expensive but the formula is the same and they're all great all great another thing from la girl and these are as well as the shades because i've just been throwing a gloss over these but i have been loving the la girl perfect precision lip liners i have been loving the one in blushing which is just like a pretty mauve pink shade and then i've also been loving the shade sugar and spice which is a more brownie orange burnt pink shade if that makes sense so one's more pink one's more brown but they're both like your lip but better colors the next thing i want to talk about is this i am amazing is this real her i am amazing eyeliner you guys this eyeliner takes the slightest stroke i'm not even going to put a lot of pressure and it just applies so fast and it's the same way in your waterline now if you push a little bit harder it does get darker but regardless it takes the slightest stroke to get this eyeliner to apply and i love it and it lasts and it don't run super duper good this was definitely a favorite and now my last favorite i'm going to talk about i'm going to pop a picture up on the screen because i really don't want to go to the bathroom to get it is my mary Kay lash and brow builder serum you guys if you've seen my lashes in my old videos where they were like thin and the basically my hairs were so fine that they looked gray and now i have some color i have some thickness and even my eyelashes are getting more full my bottom lashes are getting more longer like now i can get away on my natural days with just applying a coat of eyelash a, a coat of eyelashes a coat of mascara and they look pretty i've loved this lash and brow builder serum so if there's so if you would like to grow your lashes i highly recommend that one i believe it's like 30 bucks which isn't that bad compared to how much some other lash and brow builder serums are so yeah those are all of my pay favorites for the last couple of months i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i'm so sorry that i had to take like a leave of absence but your girl's getting back on track and healthy and summertime fine even though it's the end of summer but we still gonna make it so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video please go ahead and give me a thumbs up also hit that subscribe button i love you guys but always remember that jesus loves you more and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys Mwah.